The Bumper Boys are coming back at you from Cleveland Power Performance. That's right, Tim and Jim, the dynamic duo, back on the bumper. Came in a box, it's out of the box, we're ready to rock. So let's see what we're doing, because I really don't know, I just came down here. So we're gonna get with Jim and see what is going on. All right, Jim, what, what do we got? What are we doing? All right, so now we're gonna take off this bumper. What kind of car is it? This is a RX-8. It's a Mazda RX-8, look at this thing. Look at that bumper, that's the factory bumper, okay? Just so we can get a good point of reference. Black out that plate. There it is, there it is, okay. So, black out that plate. Mm -hmm. So now what we gotta do is pull these tail lights out. The problem with that is right now that this guy has a lot of custom interior work, sub box, amp, and close out panels. Close out panels gotta come out, the interior panel has to come out, and then I can access the bolts in the back side of the tail lights. Here. Gotta get to the back side bolts. And the ultimate goal is to get this beautiful box, unboxed bumper onto the car. So he's going to take the bumper off, he's going to look at it, and he's going to compare the mounting points on this bumper to the one that's on the car. As you can see, he already began cutting, drilling, and shaping, forming, recessing, protesting, confessing, and all kinds of other good stuff to this bumper in order to make it fit on that car. So, uh... We're gonna continue working on this thing, and I think the next spe I would blew that. and I think the next step is to get that bumper off of the Mazda. So we're gonna get that thing off and see what we're working with. So Jim is gonna to get to work by pulling the bumper off of the Mazda RX-8. That's right, it's a Mazda Zoom Zoom RX-8. He's gonna pull the bumper off of that thing. We're gonna come back down once that's done and take a look, see how the OEM bumper compares to the box bumper, the bumper that was in a box. Now that's not in a box, so. We're gonna leave the body shop and we'll come back once that bumper's off. Jim obviously has the bumper off because we just watched him take the bumper off the Mazda. And now we get to do a little compare and contrast on the OEM Mazda bumper versus our unboxed urethane bumper from KD, KB Toys from KD. What do we got, Jim? What are we working with? Because you definitely see these are the insert holes for the splash shield on the back. And this is one of the uh, little plastic inserts here to kind of hold everything together. Obviously, we're missing so, all of those. Here. All right. So all these got to be yep. cut out of the the replacement. Yep. Is this piece uh, separate on this bumper? This is it's all one piece on this bumper. On this all right. What else you got? So obviously we've seen this earlier. Yep. All these holes are not drilled out yet. You can yeah. See all these holes. So we yeah. noticed that as soon as we took it out of the box, that none of this was here. Are there impressions there? Yeah, they're all impressions. So all right. So it kind of tells you where out. to cut them. Yep but they're not cut. I'm sure we'll have to shave it back some more because that line here is probably going to run into the inside of the quarter panel. Yeah. So. All right, what else? Yeah, no mounting spots down from the bottom here, so those are going to be a fun one to figure out. What does this one mount to? It's all right here. So you got these push clips on the inside right here. here. Oh, so this is what gives it its structure. This whole piece, that has nothing. Yep. That's and just flopping. This section here, there's nothing here, right? Well, on that side, there's actually a nice little bracket here to kind of grab onto the rear body panel over there. So there's no support on the bottom of that bumper and there's no support on the top right. of the box bumper. So it should be a little interesting to see how that top line reacts with the deck lid. Hopefully it stays nice and straight on this new bumper. But... What's up with these? So I don't know for what we're doing with this at this point. Is there even room to... Oh, yeah, I don't think these can even be put on this one. Yeah. 
What is that for? It was the exhaust housing. Oh, okay, yeah, so that's the exhaust housing. So, uh, yeah, obviously, exhaust housing, because there's the heat shield in there, and that's just not gonna, the, the bottom of this bumper is shaped totally differently. So it's not like you can easily transport that housing or that, you know, exhaust cutout over to this bumper. It just, you'd have to totally remake the whole bottom of the thing. All right, what next? About it. All right, we're going to, what's cool. what's the next step? Next step is going to be probably going to get these holes opened up across the top. Wait, we'll wait, hold on, hold on. I'm noticing one more thing here. Okay, Some of this. Yeah, is so that... that's the aftermarket. Okay. Yeah, it's just a little more aggressive look to it. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do next is get these holes opened up, get this thing mounted on the, on the car, and figure out how the fitment is at this point. All right, well, let's take a look. All right, and look at that. We have our boxed bumper unboxed and test fit on the car. So it actually took shape pretty good and it looks fairly good. I don't know. What do you think, Jim? This is just a test fit. We don't have all the mounting points and bracketry and whatnot on the vehicle, but we just wanted to test fit it. And that's what it looks like. Still needs some massaging. It still needs, uh, obviously, gaps closed and uh, I don't know some structure on the bottom of it because there's really nothing holding it on down there right Correct. so there's nothing holding it on down there obviously you got some gap issues when the deck lid shuts the center of the bumper up here flexes a little bit but that's what it looks like that's a, a dry fit what do you call? What do you call that? Yeah, it's good. It's good a dry. dry fit. It's a dry yeah. fit. Yeah. So let's take a little side profile view. There it is. There. Come over here and take a little side profile view. This is about as far back as I can get, and there it is. There. So we're gonna keep working on this thing and getting it dialed in, and we're gonna hopefully see a good end result where this thing is color matched to the car and fits seamless, smooth, and looks fantastic. Stick around. Jim's gonna work some magic and we'll see what he comes up with. Look at that, the Mazda bumper's back on the car. And some things have happened since we checked back in with this Mazda bumper, and I'm gonna need to get low, low, low to show you what has been done. So, we uh, obviously got it on the car, duh, it's on the car, and we had to do some fit and finish and finagling to get it there. But also what we had to do was build some bracing and bracketry to hold the bottom on. So let me see if I can get under here and we can take a look. All right, so we're gonna get a peeky peek underneath here. Let me see if I can see what we've done. So now that we're under the car, we can see that there has been a structural piece made that bolts to the, I'm sorry, Jim, that bolts to the frame rail and is gonna provide support for the, the rear bumper. We can get a better look at this uh, when it's, I don't know, on a lift or once this thing's bonded together, but the, the bottom part of the bumper here, bottom part of the bumper that Jim's touching, is going to be bonded to this structural piece that bolts to the frame so that'll become part of the bumper and it will unbolt from the frame rails we'll get a better look from up top once that's done so for now we're going to continue working on it and it just basically needs to be bonded together so that structure underneath is all one piece with the bumper and then it needs to be painted so that's this next step let's go let's make it happen but before we go I was just informed that we moved the exhaust tips over a little bit to fit the new cutouts in the bumper. Cut them, clocked them. It looks pretty cool. And since it came in a box, it's definitely changed a lot. I'm impressed. Uh, so far, overall, impressed with the, the box bumper and how it's looking. So let's keep going. Okay, now that we got the bumper off of the car, we can take a look at the bracket tree we made uh with a little more clarity jim what's happening here tell me what's going on what we got going on here now is this custom piece of aluminum that we have right now it's screwed onto the bumper i am going to panel bond it onto the bottom so the fixed part these screws will disappear all right got some brackets that bolt to the frame yep we've got the frame rail on the back side so if you remember way back when way way back we were talking about how there's no structure for the bottom of the bumper well obviously that's changed now by way of this bracketry these uh tappers will be gone as jim said this will all get panel bonded here across the bottom are you worried about any adhesion issues or separation or anything like that or is this going to stay real strong no, it'll, stay nice and strong. it'll be just as yep. strong as having it bolted in or screwed in yep. all right so gonna get this bracket epoxied so that it doesn't rust out and then get it everything bonded here 
and then we're gonna start getting the outside of the bumper prepped to get painted to go back on the vehicle. See what that says, folks? That says Cleveland Power and Performance, because that's where we're at. And we never left, and I still don't know where I'm stitching this video together. I'm trying to think of where. Oh, no, we were just, I just, oh, that's what we were doing. We just saw Jim cutting, and what were you doing when I came down here? What were you cutting? We just saw Jim cutting out some holes in the Mazda bumper. Things are progressing. And now it's time for the bond, the union between metal and urethane. And that's what Jim's doing right now. I can smell the wax and grease remover that he put in the air to clean the surface of the bumper so that it adheres. So, uh, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. We're gonna talk to an expert. Now we're talking to an expert. Now I know I smell the wax and grease remover. You clean that all up. Yep. Yeah, uh, you scuffed that. You you primered that, yep. and then scuffed it. Yep. Just and epoxy primer, prepped out with 150, and this section of the bumper is also prepped out. With okay. So that's been scuffed up. That's been scuffed up. Yep. And what do we have here? What we have here is a. Nope. Let me pop this thing out real quick. This is what we're using. Okay. Panel adhesive. What else do you use that for? Out of curiosity. Oh, everything. So. Everything. All kinds of different Holding, materials, yeah. metal to metal, metal to plastic metal. to plastic, metal to plastic, metal to plastic. Glass. all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Okay, good Hold stuff. Get sticky. We're going to get sticky here. I kind of wanted to see what this looks like. And uh, oh, is there any like science behind the pattern you're running here? There is no science. All right, there just is. trying to make sure you get the whole thing covered and coated. Uh, what's the dry time on this stuff? It's actually a 24 hours cure time on it, so it, right. takes, it takes a sweet time. Does it need heat? It needs to be about 65 degrees. Okay. Just kind of a little, a little All right, he's going to kind of smooth this stuff out here, get maximum coverage. Crazy. Yep. Did you think we were going to have to do this when this originally came in? Was this even like a, like a thought you had that you're going to be making? There's going to be some like metal fabricated bracket that you got to glue to it uh i was kind of figuring there's going to be something we're going to have to do i mean this no aftermarket bumpers ever just feels right on perfectly so when you this, before this came in did you look at the any reviews any instructions anything yeah, like that i did and first time i ever seen a bumper come in a box so did anybody talk about making a structure across the bottom of it or do you think people are legitimately driving around with these flopping around they might be flopping around yeah if anybody has one of these on their car, I'd be interested to know. Please tell us if you did anything um, to keep the bottom braced. Did you use anything from the factory bumper? Did you jerry-rig something up? Did you cut a bracket like this? Uh, I, yeah, I'd be interested to know. Smooth wrists on that, man. Oof. What is this? Is it, Oh, it's just a squeegee. Were you sanding with that? I was. So that's a, a good body man is using a tool for multiple purposes here. He was using that squeegee to sand before, and uh, now he's using it to squeege. So that's how you know you got yourself a talented body guy. Spread that stuff out. All right, we're going to watch Jim work his magic here. Oh, do you still have the zip screws to line it up? All right, so, well, hold on. Is that... Are those tappers going to stick to the adhesive, uh, to the... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to self-tap everything in and clamp everything. And then tomorrow when I come in, I'll pop these back out and fill the holes back in with the same product. And, and they'll they come out? They won't get stuck? No. In this stuff? Okay. Yeah, All right. I guess we'll find out. I think he knows what he's talking about. And I know that I don't. All right. Here's the holy union. Man, metal, and plastic or urethane what is it jim's really putting the screws to it that's <laughs> you, right you know what i mean 
And I think he's got a screw loose though. Oh uh, yeah. Right here. A couple of them, man. Yep, that one's missing completely. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, smooth entry. All right, so looks like those clamps are going to be put to use. Yeah. Jim is going to secure the bracket to the bumper with those clamps. Tomorrow, we will take these uh, screws out of here and it should all be one piece. And then, time to prep and paint the outside of it or what? Yep. yep. All right, so we'll call that we'll call that a video here, folks. We're going to keep you on the edge of your seats so that you can see the color change. We're going to check back in once this thing is uh, all one piece and we're going to check back in when it's going to get ready to get sprayed. So coming to you from the Cleveland Power and Performance Body Shop, signing off for now on this Mazda bumper in a box. Stay tuned to see the rest of it come together. And then we can do a little comparison on how the car rolled in with this uh, OEM bumper on it and how it looks with the final product painted and on. So again, stay tuned, like, subscribe, share, ring the bell. And that's it, right? That's it.